Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be going over three devices that deal with uh, harmonics and like resonance and upper harmonics and lower harmonics and all sorts of stuff. I'm not an, an expert in these and this is going to be my second attempt trying to explain one of them. So wish me luck. All right, so I have a vocal here and it is used in a lot. Drop the beat. I have that, right? So the first one is corpus and how I'm going to describe it is, you know how if when you sing in the shower, you kind of sound better because, well, you know, in theory, because you're hearing your own voice, but your voice is actually reflecting off the walls of your shower and mixing with the voice that you're singing. So you create like a richer harmonic. That's kind of what you're getting here. Uh, what Corbus does is it, it uh, physically models reflective surfaces, right? So it's kind of weird but yeah i'll give you a listen so we have this completely dry Drop the beat. we have this and this is beam Drop the beat. right so this is a hundred percent wet what it's doing is it's it's emulating well it's modeling the reflection you know off surfaces and there's multiple surfaces you have here like a pipe like if you yell into a tube like a didgeridoo or whatever it's called you can go full and that's full emulation Drop the beat. The right, you can hear. It's kind of like, it's kind of like you putting a speaker in a tube and you listening to it. Uh, you have, you know, a few options: decay and radius. Each one has their own kind of modeling. Drop the beat. Right, you can hear that. Uh, it's just a really interesting effect. That's pretty fun. Uh, you have, uh, you can offset the listening position of your left and right Drop the beat. to create a weird type of weird psychoacoustic effect. Uh, you have your decay, which is how far the decay is. So that would be. Drop the beat. Drop the beat. Drop, drop the beat. Get some interesting stuff going on there, and you can also filter the uh, response and modulate, you know, the amount. Drop the beat. 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 Right. You can get some really interesting and weird sounds and uh the reflection like the sound of the reflection you can tune right so now you have your c which is your middle c which is this and you can tune it to whatever the source material is and then uh, slightly spread it so the left and right have different tunings all right that is corpus i'm not an expert in it i'm definitely not an expert in this next one but i'm gonna try to get it resonator so what this does is this is kind of like a harmonizer so you have uh, your root note, and uh, two and three is left, and then uh, four and five is right, I believe. Wait. Drop the beat. Drop the it's left. Um, so what this does is this will split the signal up into um, a few parts here. We have our center channel here. Drop the beat. Drop the beat. So what this does is this shifts the, the, the formats over to make it sound like there's more than one person singing. Uh, this effect is used in a lot of uh, spongle tracks, a lot of psytrance, uh, and all that. So you can kind of simulate a rich harmony in a weird, unnatural way uh, by using this. Drop the beat, 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 drop the beat. So if you go completely wet, drop the beat. and the filter kind of filters things out. Drop the beat, drop the beat, drop the beat, drop the beat. Right, and that's a little bit busy, so you can turn a few of them off. Drop the beat, 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 drop the beat. It just does really weird, interesting things. You have constant, which is constant delay, so the lower, lower frequencies decay longer than the higher ones. Yeah, lower notes decay uh, longer. Um, you have your width, which is your stereo width. So you can get a really kind of interesting effect using this. Used in conjunction with, say, like a chorus or a reverb, you can really make something sound interesting. And the last one is a vocoder. So when you listen to craft work, this is what you get. Um, so what it does is it takes a signal, splits it up into bands, and you can select how many bands you want to split up into, and it modulates each one. So you can have an input that will modulate it. So I will go... Right, so I have uh, my synth right next to me. Right, simple uh, saw wave chords. 
and what I'll do is I'll have external input from we have it input from uh, three track three so that's where the sounds coming from and uh, we'll play it and nothing's happening um, that's because we're not having a, an input of the synth sound so what you'll get when you start playing notes it could be from a VST it could be from a vocal source you can have a vocal modulating a lead or a, like a lead modulating a vocal and this is uh, like a classic vocoder sound <laughs> So you get some Beastie Boys stuff going on there. You can alter the range and the amount of bands. So obviously less bands is kind of like a dirtier vintage sound. Right, and you can increase the bands up to 40. Right, and that's just moving up and down the keyboard with a simple saw wave. You can enhance so that makes uh, everything brighter. Right, and you can mix uh, wet and dry. Again, I'm not an expert on any of these plugins, but I kind of understand broadly how they work. Uh, there's also your gate, some uh, gate for say if you have a microphone and you don't want to, you don't want the ambient noise to modulate what you're doing. You have that, and uh, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for these. Hope you learned stuff, and we're gonna be back with some more fun stuff. All right, have a good one.